So this rant I'm about to go on, I don't want it to be uh, come off as I'm plagiarizing or copying George Carlin. But George Carlin said a long time ago that, that they own us and they don't care about us. They don't care about us. And it's true. Uh, government, Congress, senators, they don't really care about us, particularly Republicans. Democrats somewhat. Two bills just passed. One is the defense bill, which has in it the provision that the military can arrest you with no cause and hold you indefinitely. That was passed 93 to 7. And what that says is Democrats were handing that one off to the president, saying, hey, we're not going to cancel this defense bill because there's a lot more in it to fund wars and fund the military, and it's going to look bad on us. So we're going to give up the freedoms of everybody in America so that we don't look bad. Now, they hope that Obama is going to veto it, and then we can take that um, that one amendment in there and take it out. <clears throat> that's what we all hope. We don't know if that's going to happen. No guarantee. So, that just means that if your Republican son happens to be walking by an Occupy event and he gets caught up and somehow gets thrown in the mix of all the other uh, occupiers and he gets thrown in the jail and he's like, hey, I was just walking down the street. They don't care. As far as they're concerned, you're part of the Occupy. That's how it could happen. I don't know how to reach Republicans because they don't seem to care. The other bill that didn't get passed was the payroll tax cut, which would have gave like between $1,000 and $1,300 uh, to middle class and the way they were going to pay for that was to tax the rich. But the rich wasn't having it. Republicans voted that down. Only one voted it, voted it for it in Maine. And again, it comes down to caring. They don't care about you. And I've always said this. Me and my brother have always said this. Where is the care? Where are people's care? Where do you, uh, how do you not see that as unjustified? How do you see that as uh, these corporations making millions and these millionaires making these millions off these corporations that don't pay full taxes, that go through loopholes? I've been studying this stuff since I was in eighth grade. Why? I'll never know. Mr. Duddy's class, I, uh, corporate welfare, a lot of companies weren't paying taxes back then. Um, we have subsidies on food. We, we, there are so many things going on. It's, I know that it's tough to stay involved, but there's no real excuse anymore. There's Facebook and Twitter. You really have no excuse not to be involved and not to somewhat know what's going on. But you have to understand they are not afraid of you. They are so not afraid of you and what you're going to do. Republicans are so not afraid of any kind of backlash. They know they own you. They know that they own the media, they own everything, and they own you. And they're so not afraid of you. That's why these occupiers, they're brave. And they're probably a little bit crazy, and they act crazy. Because you sort of have to be crazy, because, because everything's rigged. And these people are taking huge risks. With their health, with their reputations... And now they can be jailed indefinitely, soon. And you just got to ask yourself, where is the care? Where, where is people's care? How are they not involved? How are we letting this happen? How is it that America could become a police state? How can someone be Republican who makes $40,000, $50,000, $30,000 a year? The rich run this country. And they don't care about you. And they're not scared of you. And now... With Occupy Wall Street, if people don't understand how important a movement that is, people are trying to draw attention, trying to say, wake up, look, look what's going on. Look what happened with the bailout, how they screwed up our whole economy, and then I got money from us to bail them out, and then paid dividends, paid, paid, paid off bonuses to people, while tens of millions of people lost their houses. I guess 10 million people lost their houses. But people don't seem to know, seem to care. So two things is, you know, two things are, where is your care as an American citizen? Where is your care for, for things that are going on around us? And the other thing is they are not scared of you. And now they can arrest you and hold you indefinitely if they are scared of you. If you're doing anything that's, that's not to their liking, anything to redefine this country, they can lock you up. And this, they count on that you don't care. And they're certainly not scared of you. And they certainly own you until you start paying attention and wake up.
I'm sorry. It wasn't funny again. I apologize. So get involved. Share this. Be aware of the defense bill that they just signed that takes away your rights. And be aware of the payroll tax that they shot down because they didn't want the rich to pay for it. Be aware of these things. And spread this and share it. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye.